się Was zapraszam do oglądania kolejnego odcinka na moim kanale. Mam nadzieję, że będzie Wam się podobać. The Hound is Uciekliśmy z piekla po zdradzie stanu. This is the Hound Pits pub, closed for business after district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. This months ago, during her mother's terrible murder, anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved Lady Empress is required to speak to the City Watch at once. I once served under Admiral Havelock. Captain Havelock then. I don't know if he remembers me, but I fear it's rude to ask. I don't want to embarrass him. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. happen now the tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. That one is empty. A new tank. The Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years to see if the formulation of energetic substances developed. Surely Perfect. The Empress would now be plug it in. Furnish me with facility. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Oh, Here, see? The Assassin's Mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. 
Can you see normally? Center lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is... Vaiga. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Hello, Corvo. Yeah. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. Mm -hmm.
days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another room. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. All of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds, nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. First off, I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell Car... Chyba jeszcze nie... Ach, no ja nie słyszałem. Żeby tam coś pipało. him get the journal because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. 
Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got- Oh. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Trip. Used to be you'd go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague, the other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. You just take your pick. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Mm. Nasty Good. bird, Keep them coming. Hey! What is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Uh, yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> One, 
two, three, heave! Attention, Dunwall citizens. Please clear the area when a motorized carriage or stilt walker approaches on state business. Be advised that such vehicles will not slow or stop to avoid citizens obstructing the way. Good. Keep them coming. Garbage, 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 all of it. Listen. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Mm -hmm. oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny rags, granny rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. What a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Never listen. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come.
I think the little birdies are sad today. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. Cześć, cześć.